مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم Welcome again to our Arabic reading practice with comprehension for beginners with me uh, Dr. Amran Hamza Alawiye In today's lesson let's continue uh, using uh, daily routine sentences to advance our reading practice and to learn new vocabulary Last time we talk about I uh, get up I wake up in the morning uh, early I wake up in the morning late I brush my teeth I have my shower I um, comb my hair all those things Today let's start with new sentence let's break it up first and then we'll put it together again and we analyze it shall we right pen and paper please write what you can hear and then i show it to you and then we analyze it i do i do how many letters please write it down i do i hope you can hear three letters and they are hamza on top of alif with dhamma u followed by ain kasra ay and dal dhamma with shadda do u i do which means i prepare u i do okay next one linaf si linaf si how many letters and what are they linaf si write them down for me please linaf si five letters and they are lam kasra li followed by noon fatha na and then fa sukun naf li naf and then sin kasra ya ulmat li naf si li naf si means for myself li that means for nafsi myself li naf si for myself okay what do you prepare for yourself el fatura el fatura how many letters and what are they el fatura six letters what are they el fatura they are alif and lam with sukun on the lam l which is the article the followed by to with uh, al fa followed by fa with fatha al fa and then to dhamma with lengthening wow al fatur and then ra with fatha al fatura al fatura means uh, breakfast the actual food that we eat for breakfast is called al fatur with the fatha on the fa al fatur so the sentence is uaidu li nafsi al fatura uaidu li nafsi al fatur i prepare uh, for myself uh, breakfast i prepare breakfast for myself uaidu li nafsi al fatura the first sentence is done second sentence please let's break it up as well then we assemble it let's start with atanawalu we had that one before atanawalu atana atanawalu six letters atanawalu they are hamza on top of alif ta fatha ta nun fatha and then letting alif waw fatha and then lam tamma atanawalu that's mean i eat I eat. You can use another verb. I cool, I cool, I cool. But 
Atanawalu is better in this case. Atanawalu, I eat. What do you eat? Al-Fatura. You just write uh, the, the uh, Al-Fatura, you just donate. Al-Fatura. I eat breakfast. Atanawalu al-Fatura. Okay, and then? Qabla. Qabla, how many letters? Qabla. Qabla. Three letters. What are they? Qabla. Three letters. What are they? They are Qaf, Fatha, Qa, Ba, Sukun, Qab, and then La. Fatha, La. Qabla. That means before. Qabla. Before. Before what? Okay. Al-Zahabi. Al-Zahabi. Aha. Uh -huh. You can hear Shadda, so therefore, it's letter, silence letter is hidden there. Uh, Al-Zahabi. How many letters? Al-Zahabi. I can tell you, there will be six letters, I think. al -dha. So you have a Alif Lam. And then Dhal. Shadda. That's why we are pausing it a little bit before we pronounce it. Al then Fatha, the ha, ha Fatha, then in Alif, and then Ba. The ha B, gets around the Ba. The ha B means going. Coming from uh, verb the haba, yedhab, verb to go. The verb or noun is the hab, going. So, atanawal al fatura, qabla the habi. I eat breakfast before going to where? <laughs> ila. Ila. Three letters. Can you guess? Can you write it for me? Ila. So you have Hamza underneath the alif, followed by Lam Fatham, and then a ya shape, but it's not a ya, because no, no dot. Alif Maksura, uh, a form of lengthening alif. Ila, that's mean two. Ila, two. To where? El Amali. El Amali. El Amali. Five letters. What are they? El Amali. They are Alif Walam with uh, Sukun on the Lam and then Ain Fatha followed by Mim Fatha. And Lam Kesra. Al Amali. Al Amali. That means work. So the sentence is Atanawal al Fatura Qabla al Zahabi ila al Amali. Atanawal al Fatura Qabla al Zahabi ila al Amali. I eat breakfast before going to work. Atanawal al Fatura. I eat breakfast. Qabla Zahabi ila al Amal. Before going to work. Okay. <sighs> Let's move quickly to uh, sentence number three. Okay. Ushagilu. Uh, Ushagilu. How many letters? What are they? Ushagilu. Shut down on the rain. That's why I'm pausing a little bit. Ushagilu. The letters are, how many letters? Four letters. Ushagil, and they are Hamza on top of Alif, Dhamma, U, Shin, Fatha, Sha, and then Rain, Shadda, with, with Kasra underneath it. Ushagilu, last letter is Lam Dhamma. Ushagilu means I operate. Or, in this case, we're going to use it for, I turn on. Ushagilu. Okay. Ushagilu. The next one is ha su bi. Six letters. Ha su bi. What are they? 
ha su bi and the letters are ha fatiha ha lazim alif followed by sin dhamma lazim wow ha su dhamma on the same and then ba kasra another ya ya is lengthening uh ba has kasra ha su bi means my computer ha su bi my computer so uh let's describe the computer al mahmul al mahmul seven letters al mahmul alif and lam the sukun on the lam followed by mim fatha and then mah sukun and then other mim with dhamma wow lengthening and then uh, lam fatha al mahmul it means like a, the one you carry around is used for laptop uh, so uh ushaghilu ushaghilu hasubi al mahmul i turn on my laptop computer ushaghilu hasubi al mahmul okay next sentence please uh at tolu at tolu shut down the second letter at tolu how many letters at tolu four letters what are they at tolu so have hamza to be alif with a to not ta to with shadda with fatha at to at to and the lam kasra ain with dhamma at tolu that mean i view i check if you like at tolu what do you check what do you view at tolu ala ala three letters three letters what are they a la so ain fatha a lam fatha and then alf maqsura you know the ya shape with no dot it's not ya is alf maqsura a uh, form of lengthening letter ala means on usually on okay next one rasaili ra sa ili six letters what are they rasa ili they are ra fatha ra sin fatha a and sa and then alif rasa and then hamza kasra followed by lam kasra and lam tanniya rasa ili rasa ili means my letters my letters rasa ili okay let's describe it al elektronia uf <laughs> al elektronia try and write that for me be brave al elektronia al elektronia okay let me show it to you <laughs> they are alif lam uh, and then uh, hamza on the next alif and then another lam kasra followed by kaf sukun and then ta and then ra dhamma lengthening wow followed by nun kasra ya shadda and then ta marbuta al elektronia that means electric so uh, this rasaili al elektronia al elektronia my electronic uh, letters or mails that's called email Ah, so the sentence is atoliu ala atoliu ala i check or i view my rasaili al elektroniya i check my emails atoliu ala 
رسائل الالكترونيه اوكي last sentence shall we we're going to divide it into two because it's slightly long let's start quickly ulqi ulqi four letters ulqi what's ulqi okay four letters they are hamza on top of alif with u tamma u lam sukun ul and then qaf kasra lam thaniya ulqi uh, means to throw something it can mean to to view as well ulqi okay next nadratan nadratan four letters four letters nadratan uh, they are noon fathana dha sukun nadh and then another ra fatha ta marbuta tu fatha nadratan nadratan mean a glance look okay let's describe it sariatan sa ri a tan five letters sariatan what are they sariatan sin fatha sa ra kasra ri lanthani ya and then ain fatha ta marbuta with two fatha sariatan that's mean uh quick okay so this uh, so far the sentence is ulqi nadratan sariyatan i have a quick glance a quick look at what <laughs> okay the the second part of the sentence is wasaili wasaili tawasul ijtima'i three words there <laughs> let's do one by one wasa because the other three words mean something one one thing so wasaili how many letters wasaili that's five letters waw fataha wa sin fataha lanthin in alif wasa and then hamza kasra lam kasra li wasaili on its own can mean means of something okay next one is at-tawasul at-tawasuli at-tawasuli so six letters alif and lam and then ta shadda ta fatha atta wa wa fatha lam tanin alif and then sa dhamma su and lam kasra atta wa suli seven letters at-tawasul at-tawasul means uh, connection uh, connecting with something at-tawasul interacting with something okay uh, al-ijtima'i al-ijtima'i what are the letters they are alif lam another alif and then jim sukun ta kasra mim fatha and then left in alif ijtima ain kasra ya shadda al ijtima'i al ijtima'i means social on its own so the phrase wasaili wasaili tawasuli al ijtima'i is used for social media Mm, social media it sounds like uh, anti social to me never mind wasaili at tawasul al ijtima'i so the the final sentence is yes uh ulqi nadratan sari'atan ala i have a quick glance a quick look at wasaili at tawasul al ijtima'i al ijtima'i I have a quick look at my social media feed. Here we are. Well done. I like your patience. Yeah, thank you for continuing following the the series. Thank you so much. And please continue to experiment with this. Uh the idea is to improve our reading, pronunciation, vocabulary, uh dictation and so on all in one go. Well done. Please subscribe before you go and send the link for me uh, to the whole world in fact. <laughs> Please. Thank you so much. And don't forget that I have a charity it's called Helping Hands for Education.
www.ghostbusiness.org. You may think, oh, many people have donated. No, not many. But uh, nevertheless, I'm very hopeful that you all will make some contribution. And thank you so much for some of you who have done so. Shukran jazeelan. جزاكم الله خيرا شكر الله لكم أحسن الله إليكم وأدخل السرور إلى قلوبكم مع السلامة إلى اللقاء في أمان الله